Now let's see this question. This question came in gate 2014 for one mark. The question is consider a rooted n node binary tree represented using pointers. Okay, so they are talking about a rooted tree where each node is basically ha uh, having pointers to the left and right child. Okay, so we are talking about a rooted binary tree. Okay, something like this. Now they are saying that what uh, the uh, they are talking about the best upper bound on the time required to determine the number of subtrees having exactly four nodes. Okay, so we have to find the com time complexity basically, and then we'll be able to find the values of a and b, and then we have to give this answer a plus ten b. Okay, so the main thing is that what is the time complexity in this tree in a rooted uh, binary tree, uh, which is represented using pointers. What is the time complexity for finding the number of subtrees having exactly four nodes? That is the question. Okay, so uh, we can have a recursive algorithm and something like this. This that okay. Uh, for any node, what we are going to do is that we are going to recursively find the number of subtrees having exactly four nodes in left side okay so let's say let's say this side okay so we can have uh, we can have that count okay so let's say n1 okay and while we are having that count we can also do one simple thing that uh, we can have a count of the total uh, total number of nodes also okay and let that be x okay now uh, in this side let's see that again the total number of subtrees having exactly four nodes that is going to be let's say n2 and uh, the total number of nodes in this side is going to be y okay so how this recursively x and y is going to be calculated see if we have to find the number of uh, nodes recursively then the algorithm is simple and we will see the left side and if uh, whatever is the count and right side y, whatever is the count and we will return x plus y plus 1 one for this node okay so that is going to give recursively the answer why because when the algorithm will terminate at a particular node then let's say its left child is also does not exist and right child also let's say does not exist then both of these sides recursively will return 0 and 0 plus 0 plus 1 1 for this node that is going to return 1 so every node is going to some way or the other is going to return itself its value and then uh, overall we can find the total number of uh, nodes recursively so my point is that the total number of nodes in this whole subtree in this whole subtree is going to be what in this what in this whole subtree see in this whole subtree is going to be x plus y plus 1 isn't it so overall going is it is going to be x plus y plus 1 and why i am calculating this because i have to compare this with 4 okay so exactly 4 they are talking about so if if x plus y plus 1 if this is equal to 4 then basically i have to return n1 plus n2 plus 1 okay so n1 is the number of uh, subtrees in uh, in this side left uh, subtree having uh, four nodes and n2 is the same count this side and this whole subtree is also going to be actually our answer that's why the re returning answer is n1 plus n2 plus 1 but if that is not the case if this is not equal to 4 then our answer is going to be simply n1 plus n2 so this is the procedure in which the uh, recursive definition of finding this exactly four nodes uh, number of subtrees is going to work now 
we can see that in this case basically we are just going to do a traversal so simply uh, as uh, as we are doing in counting similarly uh, here also we are doing simply scanning and we are going at a particular node and then we are returning as per the traversal so the traversal whatever is the traversal uh, running time that is going to be the simply running time here also there is no complexity other than that involved so we are just going to see all the vertices and it is going to be linear so we have to compare this with n raised to the power a log b raised to, uh, log n raised to the power b so we can see that a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 and that's why a plus 10 b is going to be 1 plus 0 which is going to be 1 okay so the answer is 1 